I'm Owen Wynne Evans, I work as a weather presenter for BBC Wales. I've been working with the weather team now for about a year and a half and as well as the, um, my main work which is on the radio station Radio Cymru, I present the weather for Wales Today uh, when they need cover. I also uh, work for Reporting Scotland in Glasgow. The, the thing that I really wanted to do was become a session drummer. I've played the drums since I was eight or nine and I don't know how my parents put up with me really because um, that drum kit had a proper battering in their house. So I was going to take a year out then to get my grades up on the drums. And uh, a friend of mine saw a job going uh, in the paper with the BBC. They were looking for a presenter for a children's news programme called File. So I went to the BBC in, in Llamdorf. I got a screen test. They asked me to come in. I thought the screen test went terribly wrong because I tipped water over the set and said some things that, you know, maybe a children's presenter shouldn't have. Not that it was that bad, really. But I didn't... Um, I, after that happened, I just sort of thought, I'm just going to be myself and, you know, I'm probably not going to get this because I've got no experience. But that is what they were looking for. They were looking for somebody who didn't have any experience with presenting. Um, they just wanted somebody who maybe um, could uh, relate to the young audience. And obviously I was just 18 at the time and I probably looked about 12. So I got the job and that was amazing. That was quite a big thing. So then I joined the weather team. I saw that there was a job going with Radio Cymru for a, a radio uh, weather forecaster. And more recently, I've been uh, presenting the weather on the TV as well here in Wales, uh, in Scotland occasionally and in the southwest of England. So it's great. I, I love my job. I think uh, the weather is something that everybody talks about, especially here in Wales. I think we're a bit obsessed with it, actually. And the, the team are great as well, the Radio Cymru team and the Wales Today team. They've been really supportive. I love Roth. I've been living here for over a year now and, uh, well, nearly two years. And I've lived in a few different places in Cardiff, in the city centre, in Campton, and there's nothing wrong with those areas. Perhaps I just feel that I'm more at home in Roth. There's a lot going on here. I think it's quite a youthful feel as well. We've got places like Juno Lounge, Pear Tree, a couple of nice pubs around here, and just places where you can go and it's just not much hassle. I think one thing that I like about Roth is you can kind of wander out, you know, and not feel uh, self-conscious, I suppose, as you do in, in some parts of any city, really. I think some people feel that Roth has a more old-fashioned feel. And as far as the community spirit is concerned, yeah, I would definitely agree. You know, I've never had that feeling anywhere else in Cardiff, really. It really does feel like a community. I was a judge in last year's uh, Great Roth Bake Off, which was amazing fun. It was a, a lot of cake, obviously, and I didn't eat cake for a good few months afterwards. But it was great, and the standard was really high, because I'd never been involved before, so I didn't know what to expect. So when Wayne asked if I was interested to be involved again this year, I said yes, straight away, because I had such a great time. I met great people as well. The other judges were great fun. And um, he explained that it was going to be even bigger this year. Um, and it is even bigger this year. You know, it's going to be quite exciting. The event itself is bigger. There are more judges as well. And it's just gone, I suppose, it's just more high profile. I mean, last year I was amazed at how much publicity it got and people coming up to me, you know, in work and, and outside of work saying, oh, I heard that you were in that Roth Bake Off. So the word kind of got around quite quickly about it. And this year there's even more, I think, interest in it. With the high profile things, obviously you, you get more high profile people involved. That just raises the profile of an event as well. We've got Becca from the Great British Bake Off who's going to be taking part as well and Lauren Harry's. Again, it's going to be a lot of fun with characters like that, you know, like Becca. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it this year. I think one thing I'll try and do is not eat as much cake though because I went crazy last year because I, um, I love, love cake really. Last year there were just over a hundred cakes, which is it's a lot of cake, you know, when you, even if you're eating a tiny bit of it, when you think of how big a, your, your average size cake is, I suppose, a um, hundred cakes is a lot. And as I said, the standard was really high, so I was just getting a bit overexcited, really. I wanted to eat more cake than I, what I should have, but I can appreciate a good cake. So I think that's why uh, 
Wayne got me involved because he knows I love cake. It's going to be a lot of fun again, yeah.